Well, I think once again he's looked at the table, Clive, and thought, well, if Ronnie gets in here, he'll be looking to get more than 20, the way the balls are situated. Well, now he's developed the black. One could be slightly different. Close control on these reds, so a good shot needed here. Good cueing required. And got. Nine. And got. That was a superb shot. Something. He's looked at a few things here, Ronnie. He's looked at the possibility of the plant. Has he overdone it? I think he may have overdone that. He wanted an angle on the blue. He just and played that quick. It's a little bit careless, that. O'Sullivan still 15 behind in this frame. But not an easy clinch for Robertson. With the One. last two reds still tucked under the cushion. Good safety. You Robertson, eight. Well, he's at the brown. Surprising miss there from the Australian. Didn't miss many of those, does he? In a way, he was lucky that uh, he didn't flick the green and pink into play and leave this red. One. Well, Ronnie has got evil thoughts in his mind here. He's going to play the snooker and it will be a tough one. And basically, what he's done is tried to cover the left hand side of the table to get out of the snooker. He can't come down the right-hand side. Tell you what, this is a tough hit. And... Well, is there a gap there? It will push the thing, so he's got to be careful he doesn't hit the pink here. Tremendous shot. Absolutely sensational. <laughs> and Ronnie tapping the table all the way round in appreciation. That was absolutely first class. Well played. the one thing he didn't bargain for but can O'Sullivan reach the potting angle? Yeah, there's no way he can pot it. You feel that Ronnie here to get real advantage needs a snooker. <laughs> well, that was really well played. So, swerving round to get to the top cushion. The old story, can he hit the red and get it safe? I think the answer 
answer is no. I think Ronnie can just get past the blue. Yeah, you'd like to look for a nice angle on something like the brown that could get you behind the yellow, the awkward yellow. The yellow looks to be the only awkward ball here. Oh, well, this doesn't look too good at the moment. One. And it doesn't look too good now. Sullivan won. Couldn't get, on, couldn't get on the yellow from the green. And the pink was too tricky. Couldn't get on the yellow from that either. Well, this is a toughie. To the frame, it doesn't really matter to me how many points are in it now. I think whoever gets the yellow wins the frame. Foul. Well, he, on your he, four. he sent that yellow dangerously close to the corner pocket. Two. Doesn't want to be too thin on this green, otherwise he can't get position for Brown. So will Ronnie play to pot this green, or will he play the snooker behind the black? Well, he's tried to get on the brown. What an effort this is. Ooh, he wasn't Five. far short, was he? Now he'll play the snooker. On your Sullivan five. And now the age-old problem for Neil: can he hit the brown and get it safe? Some wonderful escapes. No attempt at the pot there because he couldn't get on the blue. And isn't this all that's good in snooker? The first two frames, unbelievable. And now we're into the 31st minute of this frame. And it could be argued, Clive, that. This is more exciting than the other two. This brown needs to travel. Ronnie's tried to get it to the, the top cushion, but it's not got there. Needs brown and blue. The only difficulty is the cue ball being close to the side cushion. Broke it in though, gently enough to leave himself on the frame ball blue. Oh, he, got all that. he misses that blue for a 2 1 lead. Well, that is probably the most amazing miss I think I've ever seen in all my years playing and commentating. Played it nicely. This pink, though, is still no gimme. What a frame that Ronnie's Eleven. been gifted here. Incredible. Fascinating frame. 
a 32 minutes duration. Robertson missed a simple blue, which would have won it. And Sullivan potted blue, pink and black to lead by two frames to one. Though he's only 37 points behind, he's not like 50 points when he needs to clear up. But see, he potted that red slightly on the left-hand side of the pocket, so the white would run a little bit further. And he's gone to the Sullivan snooker, it's a very good one. Maybe he kind of one cushion. I thought he'd covered that route, so it's not uh, too difficult. This one got to hit them hard enough, though. Foul and a miss. A sort of a half uh, shield in those two reds. That's better. Just click the end. Of it. Just made sure of the black. Have a shot, lad. Yes, there's Hawkeye showing you how difficult this safety is. So he's going to have to hit this one thin and miss the kiss on the red and pink. And he hasn't missed the kiss on the red and pink. That's poor. Come round to look at the angle he's going to have on the red. I'm just wondering whether he's going to pot the red, bring the brown into play, and still be on the black. And that's what he came round to look at, Terry, this early on. Now, isn't that advanced thinking for you? Now, that would be so advanced thinking if he did play this here. It's amazing, isn't it? <laughs> Unfortunately for Five. him, though. Is it okay? It's in a better place, but it's not great. I wonder how many players in the game would have played that shot. You wish you'd have had that one back. Well. That's why he's uh, so special. Sees everything early, especially in the, uh, the break build inside. He's still got to make the balls 30. and play the position shot. Whether he gets that far is yet to be seen. 19. If he clears here, this would be up there with one of the best clearances I've seen, purely because of the way he played to get onto the green, to get onto the red, to move the brown out, knowing that the black was there. 26. A bad contact on that red, it dropped in, but he's two inches short of being perfect on this black, not just for the pot but also for the positional side. He's made up for it. Is the white going to get past the yellow? Oh, that's the worst possible kiss. Kissed it full, 34. he still had a pot on or quarter ball either side. He even on the yellow. Shame that because it's such a great effort as. Will you mention to clear up here? Well, 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 well. <laughs> Great shot, Willie. Great part. Obviously, didn't play to kiss the brown, but a very, very difficult green in the middle now. But he can play it as a shot to nothing, this one. See, look at the cue ball, you see. He knew that he was oh, getting a good white, but. I'm almost disappointed he didn't clear there. Obviously, that's disappointing Robertson fans me saying that, but that would have been one of the best clearances of all time. Easy. Can only kill at the top of the white there. <coughs> it's very well played. Needs a kiss from the black. Didn't get it. Thought for one moment this was going right over the middle. It's just pulled up in time. <laughs> and now this is a tough safety. I don't think the green's available. sure whether this is on but he th seems to think it is I think the key thing is to get a good white Wow that uh, <laughs> makes it look a lot easier than it looked from here that was a great pot 
Crown is the key ball. If he pots it, he'll win the frame. Well played. So. Excellent pot under pressure, but the cue ball just ran a fraction too far. He'd like well. to leave this straight now because that's the easiest pot and he doesn't need the black, so pressure on it. Neil Robertson, 12. Hit that at, uh, he did a fair pace, but he does like to give him a, a little bit of a hit. Now then, if he pots this and gets for the black, well, it'll be a miracle. He had a go at it. He unfluked it. He's left it. Much easier pink this time for Robson. He's desperate to get another frame on the board. Nearly 36 from Robertson. Robertson. He managed to hang on after that. Crucial frame. Goes to the mid session a little bit. He's pulled it back now. He's four frames behind at eight frames to four. Well, we had a tactical battle for about 14 minutes at the start of this frame. 43. It just shows you this young Australian has the temperament. He what certainly four? has the confidence. Probably the finest player ever to come out of Australia, Neil Robertson. Eddie Charlton held that mantle for many, many 51. years, travelling over to the UK, but this is a totally different player altogether. <coughs> this fella is something special. 54, so... He's playing for the pink. 52. And that will be enough to leave Ronnie needing the snooker. There was a long safety exchange, as you say. And Ronnie, it appeared, had won it. Well, the crowd getting excited. A superb shot by Ronnie, giving the ready to play. What a chance he's got now. The only awkward ball, and there's plenty of awkward shots Eight. to play. You think could be the blue. A chance he could never have expected. Nine. What a turning point this could be. 17. Ronnie doesn't need the black off the last red. Off this red, brown or above. Decided to play for the awkward blue. And he's going to play it left-handed. Amazing. That's terrific. Well, oh, the tension here in the crucible 30. is amazing. 32. What a cheer will go up if he clears these. This is a big, big frame. Neil Robertson, one pot away. 35. I always believe the key now, if he can pot the brown, get perfect position on the blue now how's he on the blue 39 he's run too far I always think that that is the key shot and he's just overrun it <coughs> now how's he gonna get there because he's had a look to see if the pink will pass the black it's, it's slightly easier to get the other side of the table 
We've got a couple of circles up now. Can he get near the one to the right? 44. <coughs> He's not on it. He'll be disappointed. He just needed that good positional shot from brown to blue. He made sure he got a good pink there. Sullivan, 44. <coughs> No attempt at getting the snooker behind the black. The pink's close. Not easy this. To stay on the black, you've got to fully commit and float it in. There's noise coming from the other table. He's trying to concentrate. He's got a really Commit to this pink. Six. What a frame. Neil Robertson had a break of 52. The frame looked his. He missed the pink. And Ronnie O'Sullivan got right back into it with a break of 44 and then pops the pink and black. Ronnie O'Sullivan's now leading by one frame. It's 11-10. This is brilliant. That is so unlucky. He throws the chalk up. Got to play for the black. Oh, need have been one. on it. But for the red bouncing off the top cushion and leaving him awkward, he can't play it now. And in it goes. Oh, that's unlucky. That Roger is Sullivan very, four. very unlucky. One. Well, he cued that one. In actual fact, he's cued it. Oh, he's kissed the yellow. Six. Six. One more red required after this pink. Had the angle to move it. He kissed the red twice. And that left 33. it absolutely a sitter for Ronnie. And Ronnie playing the Safety comes snooker and he's got the snooker tight behind the black, so Neil Robertson stays in his seat. He leads 12 frames to 10. Risky shot with little reward. Well, I don't think Ronnie played the pot there. He played the safety. One. He played it in the middle and he's looked at Neil and Neil's laughing. That's how well he's playing, John. He's potting balls that he's not playing to pot. On your Sullivan one. <coughs> White will go towards the blue or yellow. It's cannon the blue. One. Now, what about that for a shot? I think he's got to play the cannon now, possibly. Now, how's your luck? That red's coming up towards the middle pocket. And the Miss Pink has probably cost him this because that's the 16. one that Ronnie needed. Get the cannon and release the red. We could see another century in this match. Surely an I, a century break would be the icing on the cake. No century, but what a win for Ronnie O'Sullivan. He led 8-3. Neil Robertson come back and won six in a row. But Ronnie took the last three frames and he goes through to the quarterfinal. A superb match from both players.
but it's Ronnie O'Sullivan, 13-10.